sacral impact injury on the mid-medial aspect of the patella, presumably from her original dislocation with an 8 mm by 8 mm nearly full thickness loss of articular cartilage. Although the lateral facet appeared normal, there was some surrounding fissuring of the articular cartilage along the medial and inferior medial patella facets. The patella tracked laterally along the lateral femoral condyle and lateral trochlea during flexion and extension of the knee. With the arthroscope in the medial portal, the infratome TIR 70 degree side firing handpiece was introduced through the inferior lateral portal. The versipulse laser was set at 1.8 joules and 14 hertz. Under direct visualization, the synovial layer of the lateral retinaculum was released first with the laser, followed by the retinacular layer. This was done in distal to proximal fashion, then back to distal again in systematic layers until the entire retinaculum was released from below the patella to approximately two and a half centimeters above the patella. The vastus lateralis muscle was not entered at all during the procedure. No tourniquet or fluid pumps or vasoconstrictive fluids were utilized, and there was no bleeding. Excellent coagulation and resection of the fibrotic lateral retinaculum was performed, and the patella centralized much more physiologically. After the lateral release, the patella would track centrally when the knee was brought down to 30 degrees of flexion. The portal sites were closed with strips and a soft dressing, and the patient was discharged from the outpatient unit approximately 60 minutes later. <laughs>